Look at that Arizona lottery luck right there. Moving from 12 to 2. New York goes from 3 to 1. Dallas, New Jersey, Buffalo. Bunch of other people obviously getting pushed back due to uh, Arizona's absolutely insane luck right there. We are, of course, not in the lottery because we are a playoff team. Made it to the second round and unfortunately fell there. But they, we do have some good selections. Probably some stuff we can move for. So... Before we get started, guys, of course, go ahead, hit that like button for us. Help us defeat the YouTube algorithm here before we get too much further. Alrighty, so there's a lot of results. We may be able to trade up for, like I said, like that one dude who's like just outside the top 10. That's going to be uh, absolutely sick. We will check out, of course, player retirements and uh, stuff like that first. So let's see, uh, Thornton was it? oh god, he was in Montreal, uh, big career for Jumbo, Louis Erickson, Bozak, Nielsen, Seabrook, Dubinsky, Gogliano. yeah again, there's still not going to be a ton of uh, retirements here in these first couple years, goaltenders, yeah, just Jeff Glass, <laughs> alright, and that's it, Bozak and Jumbo both become coaches, interesting, uh, no one becomes a, uh, Whatchamacallit. Oh, what the hell's our AHL team again? Hershey, that's right. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like anyone retired from our coaching staffs, which is good. Alright, let's check out the draft class here. So still didn't get any freaking... These is what I'm, I don't know. Likely not going to be able to move up into here anyway. Pretty nuts, I didn't get either. Well, at least that guy looked at. But Goddard, man, we are going to want to move up for him. Like, we can move up to probably 11 and guarantee ourselves him. We'll have to see about who's willing to give up their picks. But yeah, our scout is saying 12, like, on the on the button. His scheme fits a bit awkward, maybe. But he's, it's, it's an almost NHL rate. I guarantee you he's going to be, like, for us, like, one year ETA. He's probably going to be, like, 77 overall. I doubt he's going to be, like, 80 or anything crazy like that. So he'll still probably, for us, take a year to develop. But I don't think, yeah... I don't think we pass up on this guy, like, at all. It's absolutely insane. He does have weak teammate utilization, which might mean is, like, pa I don't know, actually, what that means. Maybe passing's lower. Who the heck knows, but he's looking ridiculously good. That's definitely someone that we want to grab. We will take a look at, uh... Ah, oh, here's another medium elite steal that's right. Reginald Brennan... Forgot to pin him. Other than that, no uh, actual goalie stills. There's maybe one here at 52. Uh, Santavori. Like, even most likely going to be one, so I'll pin him. But yeah, we're likely not moving into the top 10. But getting just outside for that one dude, he's almost NHL ready. Absolutely. Zero low elites. At least confirmed. We could take some guesses. Yeah, I had, I had so much trouble just getting them figured out. Boyd turned out to be just a top six. He's a gem, though. Three-year. Meh. Not an incredible gem by any means, but... I mean, there's some possibilities here. We're going to have to take some blind picks. But, yeah. Other than that, man, not a whole lot going. So, I probably... I could do interviews. At least around the second round. Doesn't make much sense to interview these guys. I mean, I guess kind of. You could be like, oh, see, a uh, high something, but nah, we're probably not gonna be able to move there. So, uh, and honestly, if we're, we're only gonna be likely be able to target one, and <laughs> we're gonna probably want to go for Goddard there. There's some. Um, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get this Richie guy fully scouted. I really wanted to hope. Oh wow, hold on. Oh, never mind. You know what? Just in the hopes that maybe it gives me the last bit of his scouting. It won't, but <laughs> in the wild off chance that maybe it'll do that for us. Two-year ETA. Playmaker. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it, but it's worth a try, I guess, because I don't really know what else I'm going to look at. And that guy, was I was thinking, like, man, is he going to be like a 20s steal? I don't know. Like a medium elite in the 20s, because you could find those for sure. 
uh, we'll see, two-year ETA. Uh, it's probably top six, because you look at a top four enforcer, huh? three-year ETA. Let's see, some of these other guys, maybe two. Two-year guaranteed, he'll be a top six. Yeah, like, it's unlikely. It's highly unlikely that he's a medium elite steal. Uh, Hornquist, though, Oscar Hornquist, a low right here, probably a low elite. So, we'll pin him. Um, I could take a look at some of these unknowns and hope for the same. So let's let's actually do that. Let's let's see. Emanen, lefty, right wing. Sure, I'll just interview these couple guys and see if they're lows as well, and maybe worth uh, taking taking a gamble on or something. We'll see. All right, so three or ETA. That's actually good for this range. Two way. All right, we'll see. Maybe, just maybe another low elite to get our hands on here, because we do have two seconds. Uh, carefree, yeah, two. Two guys we've talked to so far are carefree. There's a carefree draft, apparently. Let's see, what are you? Uh, medium. You, uh, run, uh... Ooh, probably two, wait. Probably two your ETA. Actually, that's a lot of... That's a high... Hmm. Interesting. He might be worth taking a gamble on. Let's see. I could go for Hoagland, but since there's a winger here, maybe I want to... Could maybe try for the center instead. A little bit further back, but maybe a better chance for him to be low elite. I don't know. I'll try it. Because there's a nice winger there that we already know about. And then there's a winger later that we're going to get to your ETA. Hmm. That could be nice. Power forward. Actually, pretty good one. We haven't really drafted any of those, I don't think. So, a power forward here. If he's a low elite, probably 100% grab him. <laughs> probably. All right, well-rounded, blah, 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 blah. All righty. Well. To your ETA, well-rounded, power forward, mm, medium. Damn. All right, well, not so much help there, but uh, probably a top six at that point. Hard to say. Well, yeah, it technically should be, but again, we also have this guy over here. We have a lot of stuff that we could grab. A lot of stuff. Okay, well, we're done with interviews. So done with all that. Caroline ended up winning the cup, so we did win to the eventual cup winners. Or we did <laughs> we did lose to the eventual cup winners. So I mean we got that going for us. But yeah, they were tough. They were a tough team and probably well deserving of that cup. Presidents went to Detroit. Uh and Calgary actually made the cup fun. Dude, they're that's actually hilarious because their coach got fired after the playoffs. <laughs> Jeez, imagine that. You lose in the cup finals and you get fired. <laughs> Individual awards, Art Ross to Kane, Ovi with the heart, oh, hello, Carlson with the Norris, let's go, McKinnon with the Lady Bing, Calder went to Rossi, Aho with the Con Smythe, Vezin to Ned, William M. Jennings to Peter Mrazek, okay, uh, Shabbat with the Masterton, Burnett, Jack Adams, Kopitar, Selkie, as he should have, Ted Lindsay, Ovechkin, Maurice Richard, Kucherov. So, hey, Ovechkin brought home a couple uh, pieces of hardware there. I actually forgot who won the AHL. Toronto Marlies. They won the Calder Cup. All right. There we are. Got some individual trophies, but the uh, the big one still eludes us. It still eludes us here. So, all right. Let's get into that draft now. All right. So, we are going to keep track of some of these members. But I also need to, we'll also check around. We'll get up to our pick, essentially. Well, we could move for the 7, the 8. Ah, the 12 on the dot. I don't know if I trust that. I don't know if I trust going for the 12 on the dot. But going for the 8 is so early. So early. Shit. Like, the difference between those values is going to be quite a bit. But Gaucher, and of course, they don't want Gaucher. Hmm. I would throw in bike off now for sure. Yeah, winger playmaker 5319, like he's kind of nothing. But the problem is they don't want either of these guys. But that should be value enough to make that go through, those two prospects. Hmm. 
Let's see. Let us see. What do I need, actually? Did I trade, like, a third for next year, I think? I did, and I don't have a fourth. That'd be nice to grab. Let's grab a third for next year in this. Yep. Okay. There. We made the trade with Gaucher. We got the eighth overall. That's gonna... We're gonna... We're not gonna pick... I doubt we're gonna pick up anyone early. Earlier than the guy that we were looking at, that defenseman. He's really, really good. So, as you look at the eighth, that's... We have no idea. <laughs> it could... They could be... Yeah, they could be... Uh, I6, it could be medium release, but we don't know, so let's go with what we do know and probably grab Damon Goddard here, because, I mean, he's near NHL-ready defenseman. That's invaluable to us right now. It's absolutely invaluable to us. We can keep him on a friggin' entry level and milk that while he plays in the top six and top four. <laughs> absolutely. Maybe even the friggin' top two if he grows quick. I think that's a no-brainer for us, so there we are. We got that. Waffle Master might go to the freaking Coyotes. They're going to be stacked. You already got two freaking members. Coyotes could be stacked. But hey, you never know. Maybe Maloney goes a bit quicker. All right. Anyway, New York Islanders select. With their first overall selection, uh, the Finn. Pekka Alavara. Pekka out of winner. I know how to say Pekka, but I'm not trying to say that last name properly. I've never heard it. If I hear it, I can say it properly. Probably just Alavada. I don't know. Anyway. Coyotes with the second overall selection. They do pick Waffle Master, who jumped up to an 80 overall from whatever the hell he started at. I don't remember his tier of membership. Well, there he goes. Waffle Master. On the Coyotes. Jeez. Alright, so the Coyotes now have Crazy Train. Spence Sample and Waffle Master, who's a freaking 80 overall franchise. All right, Dallas with the third overall selection will pick Maloney. Yeah, they're not doing anything. So you join Connor Emery in Dallas. All right. And the Devils with the fourth overall selection will grab Connor Bedard, who is indeed still a franchise. Oh, a center. What a surprise! What a surprise! <laughs> Devil's getting a center. Oh my god. Are they going to do it again? Buffalo. Select with the fifth overall. Uh, another fin. Uh, Tuomas Lomala. Alright. And with the sixth overall selection. Columbus Blue Jackets. Grab the Yaj. Who's a friggin' grinder. Center elite grinder. What is it? Isn't it? Isn't it always the Blue Jackets who like end up with the grinders? Did they, I remember in either the last franchise mode or the one before that they had two grinders. It was Scary Carey and someone else, and now they grabbed Yaj, who was a friggin' elite grinder in Columbus. Uh, is anyone on the Jackets? Yes. All right, all right, and uh, so there you are, joining Smooth Sailor on the Blue Jackets. The Ducks with the seventh overall selection. We'll select Vlad the Lad Lennon. <laughs> A DFD 76 overall medium elite. So, there you go. The communists have come to California. Or if you talk to people in the state of Texas, the communists have always been in California. Alright. So... Our selection, but, you know, before we even make that, probably just three timeouts will do it. Probably don't even need that much for this so far. We're going to take a look at, uh, so far, the members and how they've grown. So, we'll take a look at Crazy Train and uh, the other dude. Anyway, here's Crazy Train. Had himself, uh, stayed in Quebec with the Remparts, played 56 games, 67 points. Pretty, uh, pretty off year when compared, so... I wonder if uh, Arizona's too worried about that. Only grew to 74 overall. So not a huge, huge growth here. But decent. Decent. A sniper, though. Like, how great is center sniper? You just got a freaking winger playmaker. And then you have a defenseman. Spent Sample, who's 78 now at 19 as a high four. Spent the year in the dub. 42 points in 59 games played. About the pace, literally, maybe slightly better than he did uh, in the previous season. And, uh, you're a DFD, but, yeah, pretty damn good build so far, speaking of which. I need to actually check, uh, the build, wait. 
How's your build coming along? No defense to speak of really yet. Uh, obviously the good offensive awareness and a solid shot. Good skater and not very physical. Makes sense. Alrighty. Now with the Sabres. Where they have a ridiculous amount of defensemen. And apparently Evander Kane again. Uh, Nemich, who grew about four overall as well by looks of it. Uh, 41 points in Rochester in the AHL. Not bad at all. <laughs> really not bad as that defenseman. Um, Build-wise, looking solid on the offensive side. Looking like a decent shot. The defense is actually not bad. Discipline could go up there. Yeah, if he, he yeah, grows at a solid pace, it's going to look pretty damn good. It'll definitely look pretty damn good. Moving on here to uh, the Blue Jackets. Who have Smooth Sailor and the Yaz just joined them. Ooh, only grew a couple overall. As A is a low franchise. They're very, very random in their development. <laughs> Played 24 AHL games, scored 9 points. Man, must have had injuries, I guess. That's pretty... Oh, no wonder. That's that's a unfortunate, unfortunate development right there. Yeah. That first year of development, unfortunately, like just that went as bad as it could have been. There's the build so far. Good discipline, not the strongest skater yet. Oof, hopefully you don't get into that kind of injury trouble again. The stars here where Connor Emery was, 77 and 19 as high top six. Again, played in the HL, missed a lot of time. Maybe he was a depth piece? I really don't know, but to get in the play, I played the playoffs four points only. How? Like, why would you be a depth piece? Ridiculously well built. Wow, yeah, winger playmaker. The defense isn't there, but he's super fast. Yep, good discipline. The poise will get there. Very not physical whatsoever. You kind of don't expect that though. All right, interesting. On we go. Holy crap! There's a big gap here. All the way to the Devils. Who picked up. Now they have freaking Bedard. Hugh. God damn. Someone's playing the wing. Hopefully. Hopefully they don't screw this up. They have Isaac Wallace. Who's right here on defense now. So jumped up to 79. At 19. Played in the OHL. Also missed time with it. What the fuck? Why did, did everyone get injured? 48 points plus 16. <laughs> Real solid at uh, two way. Like his stick checking and passing are lagging, but act, dude, he's actually gonna be. Looks like more offensively tilted as a two way, but that's actually gonna be good. Probably, and it could be good for his development. Wow, yeah. Uh, probably gonna be on the NHL next season. Yeah, I don't see a reason why not. Really good. All right, who else? Uh, Mackie, the goaltender. And the Devils do need a goaltender. Not yet, but they. Well, not really, I guess. I don't know. Who the hell is this Dawes guy? Not bad. All right, we'll see if how, <laughs> how much action Mackie gets. Uh, did he not play whatsoever? He doesn't have any fucking stats. What the hell? Zero stats. But you did grow a little bit, so yay. All right. Now in the AHL. Was he in the AHL? And they, oh, my God, they didn't play him. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, you grew, so, I mean, at least you developed, but holy hell. <laughs> kind of a ropes, kind of a rough situation to be in. All right. Now, the Flyers. All right. Look at that. That team has six goalies. That team has three. Jelly Dia, who's now on the block. <laughs> the Flyers. The Flyers still don't have a direction. They're trading their prospects. Oh my goodness, a high top six. Played in the queue, 57 points in 60 games played. Yeah, it feels like everyone missed a little bit of time with injury. Weird. Um, Build-wise, has a power forward. Actually, weird, the defense hasn't really developed. Yeah, that's kind of rough. So, basically, a physical power forward with not a whole lot of defense to speak of yet. Not a great shot either yet, but kind of just an all-around... Yeah, he's just a get-to-the-front-of-the-net type guy. Good enough skating to do so, though, at least. Yeah. Alright. Not bad for Jelly on the Blues. Yeah, just making sure I don't have anyone out of order here. The Blues. 
We have... Who the heck was it? Walsh. That's right, Walsh. Jumped up to 80. <laughs> oh, there's his freaking X-Factors. Why didn't they show before? Anyway, there's his X-Factors. Uh, 77... Holy shit, 77 points in the AHL with Springfield. He didn't miss a game. Minus 12, 40 goals. Good gracious. Matthew Walsh is the standout so far from that draft class. Sixth overall pick, and look at him. The defense is all there. The offense is all there. The shots there. Good enough skater. Not super, super physical, but more of a Bergeron type by the looks of it, except without the incredible faceoffs. Woo! Small boy, too. 5'8". Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He is going to, yeah. He epitomizes the blue. Where the hell? Oh, my God. Do they not have? Maybe he's got the zero. Uh, yeah, because expiring contract. I'm looking for O'Reilly, essentially. Anyway, Matthew Walsh. Holy. What a freaking player he is. Uh, let's go to the Maple Leafs, where it's the first time we've had someone on there. Scary carry up to 82 overall as a low franchise. Good gracious. 93 points with the Erie Otters. 41 goals, 52 assists. Wow. Oh, yeah, there's never playoff sets for the CHL. He's now 82 overall. Good gracious. Oh, my God. 19th overall selection. Going to be NHL ready in his second year of development. <laughs> great shot. Great offense. The defense is there. The awareness needs to get up. Not the greatest skater, but he's bigger body. Really physical. The discipline's lower. So I'm going to have to be careful of that, but maybe some good balance uh, for this squad. I don't know. Like, you'll jump in as a 3C. But you never know. If they can't get Tavares back, dude, like, that's scary carry. Tearing it up with Matthews for the foreseeable future. Looking good. I mean, imagine that. It's going to be like Matthews, Marner, someone, maybe even Nylander, then carry... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say what it's going to look like in those few years, but. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. And the last but not least, we have someone on the Jets. Oh, it's Alpha Chad. Where the hell are you? <laughs> Where are you at, Alpha Chad? Oh, what the fuck? They trade you? Uh. Uh. Did I... Good gracious. Well, we have time, I guess. We can look. Yeah, I'm going to keep it on potential, because that's what you'll show up quicker. What the fuck? Where'd he go? No. Must have got traded. That's my only... Unless I missed... I don't think I missed him. There's no way I did. Okay. Nothing there. No. Nope. What the hell? Yeah, I the trade didn't pop up, so I have no idea. Yeah, it looks like the the Jets traded him. Huh. Weird. I am missing yeah not there I was like half expecting the Buffalo Sabres to have traded for you what the fuck what I, I'll have to do player search because this doesn't make sense yeah that, that makes sense I've looked through everything and I haven't seen it Unless I'm blind, but I'm not. He, he would be... He's top four, so value would be over here. Fucking weird. So weird. I'm looking one... I'm, I feel like I'm going crazy right here. Maybe someone saw him. Okay, I give up. I'm gonna have to player search and try to find the dude. Maybe I... I thought he was a defenseman. <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't fucking remember, dude. Oh, wait, did I pick him up? No. No. What the fuck? I have no idea what the hell's going on. All right. Well, that's bizarre. Anyway, um, 
We have our selection here. We're just gonna grab them. I can't do player search here, can I? No. I, this is that's bugging the shit out of me. Where the hell is he? Okay. Anyway, we're gonna go way off the board here for Goddard and people are. This is gonna be the Maritz cider. Of the, everyone's gonna gasp, audibly gasp, but we're gonna be making the right decision. Damon Goddard, get on this team, dude. Dude, he was actually 79. That surprises the shit out of me. I thought he was going to be like 77, maybe 78. Holy shit. Holy shit. He actually is uh, depth, so he's he, developing him for a year for sure. But holy shit. Unreal. Damon Goddard. Absolutely unreal. It's almost like he's a member, but he's definitely not. He's got the right amount of uh, <laughs> X-Factors, but I'm pretty sure that's not a member. Alright, anyway. Next up. He would have probably been to... I actually don't know. Uh, Sweet Sauce goes to the Sharks. Enjoy. Enjoy, Mr. Sweet Sauce. So, doubles for... Sauce going to the Sharks. Have fun. There you are. And LA will select with the 10th overall pick, uh, Michael Ludi. Another grinder that's definitely their kind of player. Uh, Dallas, sorry, right here. Okay, Michael Ludi on the Kings. A couple grinders in this draft. Uh, the Penguins will get Big D Baker, which is 100%. Uh, what the hell are you? Def no, DFD. Man, you only grew by a couple overall. Although, to be fair, no, they would have grown by at least three each. Yeah, you only grew by two. Weak. Big D Baker. <laughs> to the Penguins. Apparently, they needed a... A nice DFD right there. Alright, on the... Come on, can I say pens? Thanks. Just getting my list in order, making sure it's all good. The Blues will select Essa here, May. Pretty damn solid. Again, these are all tripping me out because they got the right amount of X factors to be members, but I don't think that's a member. <laughs> I, don't know, I think 79 is much too much for them to grow. Unless they. Because they, the, the brackets are 70 overall or 73 overall or 77 overall. And if you look at the last Beam Elite member. He's at 76, so he either grew 6 overall in that year or 3 overall. So no, neither one of those. I mean, that could have been... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's only... I can't... I don't know. Shit, man. But then, then the Azure is here, 77. Like, it's hard. It's because the growth is not 100% static because, you know, the varying points of overalls and what they bring to the table. Like, this guy could have grown 7 overall. I don't know if Maloney is a core tier. I don't know, doesn't matter. I don't think, I don't think Hirme is a freaking member. I don't rem I don't recall that name, but I'll add it to the thing. Deer King, all right, definitely not. So some four top fours here. Tierra Masu is definitely a member. Wait, now they're the same overall and it's throwing me off. No, yeah, oh, actually, yeah, Deer King is a member. Uh, he's going to the Oilers, though. Okay, OFD. I'm looking at the build. That definitely seems to me like a... Snipe Billy, 69 overall. There's your fucking giveaway. All you guys love your 69 overalls. Uh, Edmonton is after Dallas. So, going to the Oilers is Deer King. So, nice. <laughs> Have fun with McDavid, buddy. Have fun with McDavid. And then Tiramisu going to the Jets, who was supposed to join Alpha, but I have no fucking clue where Alpha Chad has ended up. He's eluding us, literally. On the Jets. Alright. Let's see. The Habs. Les Habitants get Benson. 73 overall. Medium elite. Not bad. Especially with the 15th overall selection. Ottawa at 16. We'll select that dude. I don't think he's anyone. Let's see, actually. Pretty sure Jaeger's elite. <laughs> Could move up and grab him, but man. I'm very, very curious about Richie because we do still have a selection, the 27th. We still have the 27th pick. 
Which is enough to get Richie. No X factors. Two year ETA center, playmaker. We either can take him there or wait for Hornquist. And uh, also a guy at 52 who we could grab, or this guy at 48. Like, we could go. I could skip that guy, guarantee myself this low elite here. Grab another elite goaltender. Well, most likely goaltender. And also this guy with three. With our three picks. With no, with no issue. It's a tough call. This is a really tough call, what I'm going to do. So 31, 48, and 52. And we have... We'll probably have to move one of these picks. So we can grab the 42 with that guy. We'd have to shift up this one to grab the 58. But that should be easy enough. But yeah, we can grab this. The problem is, like, what if I miss out on that medium? I don't think he's going to be medium elite. I really don't. I really think he's going to be top six. I think I want to go for the low elite instead. And I think I'm ready. I'm willing to risk that. Let's just go right up to our pick. There might be another member. I don't think so, though. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Oh, nice. I had no clue about that guy. F.O. Do ya. Medium elite 67 overall. Yeah, with how many have gone already, I highly doubt this guy is going to be a medium elite steal. I just don't see that happening. Not at this stage. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take the gamble, skip on Callum Ritchie, and grab myself Oscar Hornquist here, who we know is going to be low elite. So let's do that. Oscar Hornquist, 71, two-way forward, low elite. Not a bad selection right here. He's higher overall than these guys and arguably better potential. The low is scary, but yeah, if he grows, he grow he's he's growing good. Let's see. Don't do it. Thank God. No, that wasn't him. Shit. Avalanche, did you get an absolute steal? Uh they're all skipping him. There he is. Now he was a 69 nice uh top six. So it wasn't he wasn't bad by any means. He's very close to this guy. Just you know, do you value that playmaker top six more than a two way low elite? Debatable, but this guy has X factors. And Calum Ritchie does not. So I think we got the better player for sure. Uh, our next pick is 35, which will grab the guy projected at 40 something on our pin list. Uh. There it is, uh, Carl Boyd. Again, no, another two-way, but whatever. We are going to need role player guys with two-way type dudes. So a gem as well, top six gem. Three-year ETA, sure, so he's pretty standard, but I'll take him anyway. 63 overall. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, Cockburn. Not bad. All right. No, don't do that. I want to trade it <laughs> or trade up. The guy was at 50-something, so... It's going to be like 55. Yeah, 55. What the hell was he at? 58? Or 50, I think 58. Shit. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up. Uh, 52. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, we'll have to go not that far up. Uh, 40. So 52. This will be 48. Yeah, let's grab 48. I could trade one of these. I don't think they get us what we're after. No way. Yeah, no way. I think this was kind of it for my pins. All right, we know it's New York's pick, so... I don't think we had anything else crazy. We want the, uh, the guy at 90, which is going to be actually tough, I think. Because our next pick after this is not for a while. Yeah, well, 155, so... We're not. Oof! We're gonna have to figure out a way to grab that guy. Cause I'm not. I'm not missing out on that. Absolutely not. All right. Well, let's deal with this first. Cause we definitely want this dude. So we're gonna have to move this pick, obviously. Cause we can only draft three in the first two rounds. Might have to be the 155, which leaves us with not a whole lot of fun. I might have to tr try to trade for around the 90 for just something in general. Can't be for these two. Maybe that's what I moved Samson out for. Who knows? Let's try this. A 2 and a 5 for that? No. Shit. I don't think I have any junk either. Could get rid of Fukale.
if they want, if they'll take him in this. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, Sam we could move Samsona for that, but he's a bit more valuable than that. Because I think we're, I think everyone was saying move on from Samsona. We're going to try Vanacek out. I did get him a one-year 2.5 extension. We can sign any backup for pretty cheap. Could also use Fukale, but eh. That's ah, cutting it close. I mean, maybe the price tag's good, but he's expiring after this year anyway. Hmm. Hmm. What team is this? The Rangers. Nah, I don't think it's a good idea. They don't even want Samsonov. I don't think I have anyone I could really give up here. They do want Jensen. You know what? Yeah, since we're not getting Jensen back, let's throw him in. Quick! No. Alright, well, we're going to get kicked out right here. Damn. I was hoping that maybe Jensen with the block would help that along. This is going to be tough, though. Those two for sure. Jensen's not going to push it across, but I wouldn't mind throwing him in there because he's expiring anyway. Jensen. Could, you know what? Geo, too. Let's throw Jensen and Geo in there because they're both expiring. We're not grabbing them. They'd be over cap. Lol. You know, if I retain, it won't matter. <laughs> and it might actually help bump this across. We're kind of throwing in worthless stuff to them, but it's... Hey. I got no I got no issue with it. Really? Let's try to retain on Jensen, too. I don't think this is working, though. Goddamn. Even with the blocks matching. Damn! We'll keep them both in there. Do I have any other junk dude that I could just throw in? Roussel? Like, yeah, a bunch of crap. Like... <laughs> I don't think so, man. Sherry was expiring. Not exactly someone I just... Get, uh, I'm not getting rid of Hathaway. Oh, Orloff too, yeah. Alright, let's throw like these three guys in there. Retain, because we should be able to. Although, New York might not be able to even take this one now. They can. Come on, dude. Take my three expiring guys. I'm not getting back. Oh, single need bullshit. It's, oh, it's these two for the single need. Yeah. Damn. Alright, let's just find something to throw in here. Come on now. Ugh, I don't have a freaking six for any of these friggin' ears. <laughs> I don't think I've been throwing them in a lot. Oh my god, okay, a bit off, thank god. We could just... Ugh. Five from this year. There we go. Alright. Done. <laughs> People losing rails. Shut up, they were expiring. They were walking, we all know they were walking. Shut your mouths. God damn, <laughs> everyone's pissed. <laughs> Alright, whatever. So we made that trade. Uh... What trade was? Oh yeah, for the for a pick for a second. That's right. Up to up we go to the forty-eight, and we will grab this medium elite goaltender. Watch him not be medium elite. There's no way he's not. Like really, at this point, if he's if he's anything other than a, than a medium elite, I will be shocked. Yeah, fifty-six medium elite, eighteen. He might be turning nineteen soon with that. With that overall, if he's not, that's a fucking amazing pick then. Hell yeah! All right. We got ourselves a finished goaltender. You always want one of those. Holy Santa Vuori. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, now we have to trade for a 90 here. Which is going to be around this area. 82. A little bit after Vegas. We want to try to cut this as close as possible. Let's go for the 86 to be safe. 87. I just cutting it a bit close. You never know. You never know with these third rounds. So the lightning were bad. Let's go for this. 85 should be good. All right, we'll have to just throw in a player, essentially, because we don't really have. Obviously, none of those. Alexiev staying. Boyd staying. Hmm. Ooh, this is going to be tight. Ooh. 
we're obviously not losing this, but who do we who can we, who do we say we can give up here? Not giving. I don't think I'm giving him Johansson. Johansson, whatever. Or Alexiev. Oh, we have like three of those guys: Johansson, Fairbury, Alexiev. This is tough. I like all three, and I kind of want to have them battle it out and find out which is the best. So I could throw in Iorio, but that's not getting us anywhere near this value. Oof. This guy's got nothing. And we can throw Orlov in there because they want him. There we go. Alright, that worked. Sucks about giving up Iorio. He, he could have actually made it. But, again, you gotta give something up to, to get something. We don't have a whole lot, so... Whatever. Up to 85 we go. And we will select this Medium Elite guy. So it's 100% worth it because it's a friggin' Medium Elite steal. This is a ton of value. We just really, uh... We stonk star value right here. Another two-way forward. This was the draft of the two-way forwards. 54 Medium Elite at 18. Like it. I like it. And we have... Two guys now in the seventh. We're just going to hope for the best with these picks. Complete blind picks. Missing all the middle rounds. Uh, picking this guy immediately because he's a low. <laughs> hope for the best. Gogolev. Low bottom six. Rip. All right. One more selection here. Anything? couple may. Okay. Eh, not that. Not, you know, not None of these really. Kind of looking to see if there's any. No. Oof, alright, well, which one of these? Right D. Keaton Patch already. 5 year ETA left. 17. Go for the 19 year old, because at this stage, that's the likeliest. Ah, nothing. Okay. Alright, nothing there. Let's see if there went anything special. Probably not. It's all going to be trash. That's how this draft usually goes. Bunch of trash. Hey, not bad. Low 9. And they got, oh my god, a low six. Who was that? Blumdahl. Had no clue about him. Not bad, though. Goddard, Hornquist, boy. We had a pretty good draft here. Pretty good draft. Like, sent to void. Like, our first five picks were all really good. Goddard, Hornquist, boy. Sent to void. Brennan. And, of course, two complete misses. But that's how it is. I liked it. We got an absolute gem in Goddard. Like, an absolute gem. More than happy to trade up to the eight to grab him. So, yeah. I mean, we could have risked the 12. I was not risking losing him. Absolutely not. And I'm glad we didn't. He's ridiculously solid. Ridiculously solid. All right. Into the re-sign phase. We do have uh, Jace Dixon. So, we can actually do the trick with him. Yeah. NHL head coach. We probably don't even have to move the price tag much. And he should just fall back into his role if he accepts it. That's a lot of scouts. Um, I'll get them anyway. I know I'm probably going to fire most of them, but there's no real reason not to get them. Because this is going to be the, the year where all the nice scouts start hopping in. And we'll be firing scouts according to overalls to bring in A's. And start getting our A scouting team together. Alrighty. Resigned phase we go. Sherry, Hathaway. Got to see what these price tags are. It's not bad for Hathaway, but also we only have nine mil to work with. Uh, Irwin's done. Bye bye. Roussel is done. Scarbosa probably hold on him for the AHL. I think we sign all of these guys because we are going to need some guys to play. Well, we could look for potential prospects. I don't think we're going to find a whole lot. Probably just go with the highest overall dudes here. Anyway, let's. Uh, Let's keep some of these guys. Yeah. Maybe only one year on the... Yeah, they could be... They'll be fine. We can, always, we can always sit some guys if we find some potential guys. We're not going to find a ton, so there's no point in getting rid of all of them. Keep around the guys with decent potential. Malmsten, unfortunate. Not going to make it. He used to be fun in, like, the previous game or the one before that. He'd always seem to make the NHL be a nice little fourth liner. Back when you can have a... Three or five chemistry fourth line because grinders. Now they don't let you have that kind of fun anymore. Dicks. Anyway, construct additional 
Leeson's apparently. Construct additional pylons. Sign in him. Pretty much going to keep all these guys around. All right, Janssen Fiali, please want a good deal. Oh, yeah. He was playing third line for. I'm going to just try to get him to exactly what he wants. That's a good deal. Uh, Johansson. Paul, oh, yeah, it's a one way, but if we have him in the HL, that's nothing. Absolutely sign him to that. Now, Hathaway Sheary. We are going to have some money to play with. We did get rid of. Uh, no, we didn't get rid of Samsonov. I kept Samsonov. We could trade that guy at any point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we still have more money to free up, essentially. We got Vanacek, we got Fukale, who I guess I bring him back now to play in front of Bjorklund. Yeah, he wants that, just give it to him. We have Fukale, Bjorklund, Vanacek, and someone. I think we're still trading Samson off here, it's just he hasn't done anything. I think at this point we definitely signed Casablanca. He could, yeah, oh, he's a freaking uh, exemption anyway, should have signed him. Alright, Sherry. Uh, yes? A two-way contract for Connor Sheary? Absolutely. I think it's because I played him mostly as depth, and I think I'm going to keep him as depth now. Yep. Okay. Let me go back to expiring here, and it's just Hathaway, and I think I'm 100% going to keep him, because I can. Probably just to a year, and do like one, three, seven, five. Alright, let's see. The fuck? I've never actually seen that happen. Does budget only matter here? It might. Anyway, we'll see. Bunch of scouts. Hathaway rejected, as did Shiri, as did McArath. Holy shit. Okay. Alright. Got everyone. Okay, so this, these ones are going to be interesting. Shiri apparently doesn't want a two way. What if I made it one year two way? If he doesn't, I know a way to trick him. Garnet Hathaway. All right, I'll try 1.4. I gotta, gotta try to save as much money as possible here. Max out a two-way for McElrath. More scouts. We got Hathaway. We got Sherry. We got McElrath. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what the hell is up with that coach? We got nine mil cap space as well. No. You damn menu lag. Huh. I've actually never seen that. All right, let me get him in budget then and offer him head coach and actually see if he... No, so I, maybe budget matters here, but then it doesn't matter elsewhere. I don't fucking know. Because I know it doesn't matter at the other place. Come on. Yeah, so he'll, he'll slot back into his same role. So yeah, you can do that. Easy. Easy. So there he is. Slots back into the associate coach role, even though we offered him the head coach. Yeah. Pretty awesome. All right, this goalie coach is now an A minus. This one's still a B minus. <laughs> oh, his influence is whatever. We got good teaching for him. I wonder, like, when are they gonna actually make goalie coaches goalie coaches? Because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right here. Oh, you influence the like, what the fuck? Teaching's the only thing that really matters, and probably influence. But yeah, like, when are they gonna make them good? <laughs> I don't know. Very weird. Uh, we're. Done with it. I, I make sure. I'm just gonna make sure. I'm pretty sure I got everything done, but you never know. Goalie. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. To free agency we go. We have 39 guys under contract. We'll take a look there. We'll first take a look at possible extensions. Malkin. Still with elite, dude. I, I could risk lining him up with Ovi on two, but I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, if he starts declining this year, I think we want to just go one one by one with him. What was he making right now? So he'll be making a little bit less than he's... I could go too. But again, when we when we cross the, the line and if he, if he drops, lining him up with Ovi, it doesn't change the price really. Like, not really. And after the year he just had, I got no problem paying him this for another. Yeah, let's just, let's just play it smart and just do a one-year extension. 7.4 for the guy. That's ridiculous. No, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two because I don't I don't yeah I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Is that gonna be a little bit higher? Because the two five in there. See, that'll be this for two years. I am I'm gonna do that. 
could be a risk having him for three years left, but it lines everyone up, and it guarantees that if he has another insane year, he might want a shit ton of money, and getting him for, like, under eight is pretty damn good. Even if he starts declining, I think we can keep him... We'll keep him... Uh, oh, great. Wilson doesn't want an extension. We're going to keep him uh, productive enough and serviceable enough that it won't really matter. Manson's is going to be a little scary. I could give him a two-year deal and save a little bit of money. I liked I liked what he brought to the table, man. He's a solid top four guy. I doubt we're going to find anything much better for uh, this sort of price tag. So, yeah. 415, I think so. A couple years, 415. We'll just kind of line everyone up here for our last little window. This is our last little hurrah. McMichael. What are you going to want? I've, ooh. All right, we're... I'll do two years, I think. Yeah, for 225. And keep you as an RFA. Yeah, let's see what you'd bring. I like I liked him. I really liked him as a as a 3C. So let's do that. Kajula, probably not. Don't worry about him. Alright. We'll see if Casablanca is going to be uh, NHL ready. It's listed as depth right now, so it's probably another CHL year for him unless he jumps up. We'll see. Samsonov's likely to get the boot here. To free up some more caps and maybe for a serviceable player. We'll take a look at like kind of what our needs are here. Maybe we can make that third line better now, I think. We should be able to. So our top six, you know, Ovi, Malkin, probably Wilson, Kuznetsov, Backstrom, Pacioretty, McMichael. This is where you, I, I like McMichael as a 3C, but we need some better wingers. Maybe Casablanca jumps, but that's not a guarantee. I think we focus on getting some nice wingers for him. Fourth line, we got plenty of stuff. Shiri, Kajula, like, you can probably even get rid of one of them. LaPierre, not quite ready. He's a playmaker anyway, so I'm not even bringing him up. Protoss, same thing as defense's ass. So, Janssen Fialbi, unfortunately, kind of dropped, but I like him as a fourth liner. I think Janssen Fialbi, Hathaway, and then a we need a 4C. We need a 4C. Yeah. So, we need a 4C. Sherry's going to be depth. McMichael, maybe a couple... Of those guys, Kajula could be out the door. So we need a 4C for sure. And we'll see what we can grab third line wise. Defense wise, oh yeah, we need a lot of defense. That's 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 where most of our money's gotta go, I think. We're gonna need at least one top four guy. The rest, yeah, we're gonna need one defenseman. So I mean, that might be where the majority of our money goes, at least to start. We'll see. Let's take a gander at what free agency has. Barzal, pasta. Timo, wow. Kairu, no defenseman. Oh my god, don't do this. Okay, there we are. Wegar, there's Wegar. Latang. Some, some options. There's some options. Not a whole lot, though. We only need one, which is the good news. But there's a lot of competition, is the bad news. Severson's there. Don't know about fitting our things. We know Wegar fits into the second pairing. Latang would maybe fit in all pairings, by the looks of it. A lot of competition for Wegar. We'd have to give him a long contract. Latang, he's older though. We wouldn't necessarily have to give Wegar a long contract. We'd do three years, but he'd, he'd take 6.5. And that's... 6.5 versus like maybe... Mm, that's a tough one. Yeah. Hmm. There's no guarantee we get him either, and if we miss out, at least Severson is still there. So those are options. Those are our defensive options. We're obviously not grabbing any of these guys. We simply cannot afford it. Um, Axel. Wait, is it? No, Andreas Janssen. He's okay, honestly, but... Price-wise, too high for what we're looking for, right? Like, we're looking at possible guys on the third line. What the hell? I'm not grabbing him out of principle, but that's a low-ass contract. Uh, Howla. Even Giroux's there, but yeah, we're kind of looking. <laughs> what the hell? Olofsson wants a crazy amount. Maybe we could trade Sam Sonoff for a pretty good... Uh... Dude, we know we need a 4C, but another... Yeah, 
I think we hold off on looking at the third liners until we're sure what we can get back for Sam Sonoff. There's options here, but we definitely know we need a 4C. So we're going to look for that here. So we take a look at what's here. 4C wise, Ross Colton. Not bad. Oh, he might be t oh, he's tender. That sucks. All right, well, Bonino. Those guys are probably too expensive. Like, McLeod, we can do McLeod. He's not too expensive. We can play him fourth line. We would 100% play Mac and McLeod fourth line. Get away with that. Benino's okay, but also maybe declining. No, maybe Monaghan. Rask, maybe. Uh, Godet, maybe. Mason Appleton's maybe. Trennan. Mason Appleton's very cheap. Oh, his face-offs suck. Leas Anderson. Remember him? Remember him, kids? Sutter. Eh, there's plenty of options. I don't know there's a crazy, amazing standout, but there's options to grab. I was hoping for a grinder, but that's not going to be the case. Maybe. I think I really think I'm leaning towards grabbing, like, McLeod here. I know he's a bit more expensive, but we might be able to swing all that. Thing is, if I was looking for two third liners, we won't be able to afford him. In which case... Maybe you go for someone like Andrioff. Unfortunately, kind of low on that over uh, defensive awareness. Jujar Kara, damn, he's expensive too. Could wait and see if he maybe gets cheaper. Cedric Pocket, uh, only 82 awareness. That sucks, but he does have good face off, so he's an option. Oh, here we are on the playmaker. So yeah, we have a couple options here. Grinder wise, if you wanted to get a grinder for that fourth line. And play Janssen Fjallby with him. <laughs> Alright, well, you've kind of seen what we have to do. We're obviously gonna trade Sam Sonov. Now the question is what we trade him for. It's either picks or maybe like some kind of third liner. I'm not gonna go ahead and like look at all the options there. We kind of know what our needs are or our wants, desires are. We can make it work. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.